The Bloomfield Science Museum is celebrating 200 years since the invention of the bicycle and today we're going to check out the exhibit that showcases bikes from all throughout history and from around the world. There are all different kinds of bicycles, the mountain bikes, the road bikes, the BMX. Um, and it's also a pretty popular means of transportation here in Israel, but nobody really thinks about its origins. And that's where you come in. Yeah, okay, so the bicycle was invented 200 years ago by the Baron von Dreis from Germany. And we actually have uh, all, the, all these uh, bicycles here are original artifacts uh, from that time. So we have an original 1820s bike designed by the Baron von Dreis. So you can see it had no pedals, but it did have steering and two wheels in the back and front, which is what makes it the first bicycle. Yeah, I noticed that it's a pedalless bike, so you would have to use your legs. You use your leg, you lean forward on this cushion and then you sort of do this funny motion with your legs, it's quite funny. The invention of the bicycle was an instant hit, serving as a substitute for horses who had perished in the eruption of a volcano way back in 1815. As you ride the bike, the story unfolds on screen. It's also a workout and it's also pretty informative. Then for the next 30 years, the, the bicycle evolved through the tricycle. And because there were no standards, it's a very interesting uh, uh, mechanism. The, the pedals are driven by hand. For the brakes, there's the backrest. You see the nice car backrest, and you lean back. These were also called bone shakers because they would really shake your bones, and they were not very comfortable. So the history of the bicycle is also, also the history of shock absorption. This one actually kind of resembles modern bikes. It has a pedal. It begins to resemble. Mm -hmm. Still, the pedal is on the front wheel. Yeah. But the next stage was the high wheeler, the penny oh, wow. farthing, which one. a lot of people think is the oldest bicycle, but actually it only came about 50 years after the driving. The larger the wheel, the faster you ride. But faster doesn't mean safer, especially in the days before smoothly paved roads. So we're entering the hall that's dedicated to the machine. The bicycle is a machine and we have analyzed the bicycle into its parts. So we have a wheel wall, we have a section dealing with bicycle frames, transmissions, brakes. You can read it as a timeline. So we have the dry zine wheel that we saw before, the wooden wheel, uh, steel wheels, and it's also the history of shock absorption. And there were a lot of solutions uh, looked at for that. For instance, you can see this lovely wheel uh, with all the springs inside the wheel trying to absorb uh, the shocks. Uh, and then came out the modern wheel. Uh, this is from the First World War, and this is the Second World War, and there was a shortage of rubber. So people took car tires and they sewed them up as a bicycle tire. Here we have a, 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 a nice, nice milestone in technological history where the bicycle and the automobile converge. So both Carl Benz and uh, Daimler were the inventors of the modern automobile. This tricycle is very similar to the one Benz used for the first internal combustion engine. So the bicycle was, was uh, really there at the moment of the invention of the car, same as it was there at the moment of the invention of the airplane in the Wright Brothers display that we have around the corner. Now people actually rode this? Of course, I can ride it. Really? Not no, now because it's... Oh, it goes pretty fast. It's actually quite fun to ride. These are, it's, it's, this, these are the steering handles. So you're sitting like this and you're holding on and then when you, when you turn these, the front wheel will move. So here we have a, a display showing uh, the Wright brothers' uh, development of the airplane and the Wright brothers were bicycle builders. So they used the bicycle as a test apparatus to test uh, wind uh, um, aerodynamics and uh, wind drag and they also use bicycle parts for the airplanes. So the Wright brothers are great and all, they contributed a lot, but what about the Israeli innovations? So we inventions? have, because this is really the, the innovative thread of the exhibition, we have a few Israeli innovations and we can uh, go Let's here around out. the wall and have a look. We have uh, 
Taga 2, which is a combination of, a, I'd say, a shopping cart, a stroller and a bicycle. And it's quite nice, a very successful uh, Kickstarter campaign. And really, what's really nice, you can look at the steering. Uh, actually, the, the steering we're used to in the bicycle is split into two parts here. I could definitely see this <coughs> being a success in Tel Aviv. Yeah, Everyone so it's, rides it's their bikes. It's quite successful in Tel Aviv, and it's even more successful in places in, in around the world yeah. where there's a lot, where there are good bike lanes. So right. we have an, an, another great Israeli invention here. It's a cardboard bicycle, and this is like a very initial prototype. It looks very cumbersome, but the, the later models are very nice and sleek. The idea they're, they're, of creating a bike out of cardboard. How did that come, how did the idea come well, the, about? The, this inventor, Isaac Gaffney, who had this idea to make a bicycle from a light and strong material, and cardboard is a light and strong material. Okay. So it's very and cheap to make. Very cheap. Is it cheap to buy? Very cheap to buy and make. Uh, some other problems which are durability were solved in, in uh, many different ways. The bicycle also played a big role in feminism, offering new freedom to women and paving the way for women's rights. Were they allowed to ride the They were the allowed bicycles? to ride, but it was not very common. And it was actually, there was a lot of books written by very prominent physicians saying that women should not ride bicycles, they will not be able to have babies, although these doctors who wrote these books never rode a bicycle, of course. Oh, wow. Many brave women didn't want to give up the independence the bicycle had afforded them, so they rode away. Fashion began to change because it's not very comfortable to ride a bicycle with a long skirt. Mm -hmm. So we have the bloomers which are riding uh, uh, trousers for women. And you have the skin tight outfit and, that and people wear today. And as a comparison what, where we are today, you know, mm -hmm. very high tech uh, textiles. The bicycle had a huge impact, I see, on many things. It's not just a means of transportation, but... There's something about a bicycle that really sort of sets you free. After exploring the origin and history of bicycles throughout history, inside the exhibition, visitors can go outside and actually ride some of them. Some head safety protection first. for you, safety first. Get that. Ready to ride. This is a medium-sized high-wheeler. You're going back 100 years, 120 years in time. There you go. <laughs> Yay, Daddy's teaching me how to ride a bike. How do I stop? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting the hang of it. Okay. That's Here we good. go. Woo! Keep going. Don't stop. Ah! Oop. <laughs> Good. There you go. Oh no! 